Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm going to do a short instructional video for you on different ways of practicing with the metronome that you might not be familiar with. So I had an idea to practice with the metronome in 6-8 where there are only four beats going on the metronome. So usually if we're playing in four, we would play with the metronome like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Kind of a simple rock beat. Okay, so if we're going to play six over this, six if we're thinking of each click as one quarter note, six beats fitting into four quarter notes would make it quarter note triplet. Now how do you figure out what a quarter note triplet is? First you can figure out eighth note triplets. Eighth note triplets would be three beats per click. So those are eighth note triplets. Now in order to figure out quarter note triplets, that's half the speed of eighth note triplets. So if you're alternating when you're playing these triplets, and when I say alternating, I mean just playing right, left, right, left, right, left, and you can let your strong hand lead. If you're left handed, you play left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So when we're alternating on eighth note triplets, if we leave out the off beats, then we'll just be playing with one hand the quarter note triplets. Okay, so now that we've figured out quarter note triplets over four on the click, now let's try to play a simple six eight beat over that. So a good example would be just this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, so now we're going to find our quarter note triplets again, and if you need to, you can start with the eighth note triplets. So there's the quarter note triplet. So I'm going to be thinking of that as I start. So you'll notice that not every click lines up with every beat I'm playing in the six. It's only every other click that lines up with it. So if we were to subdivide it by eighth notes, the six eight, or let's say sixteenth notes since we're already in six eight. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and then you'll realize that the second and fourth click land on the and of two if you're thinking of it in three. And if you're thinking of it in six, it would land on the one, two, and and of two and then four, five, and, so the and of five also. But it doesn't really matter. You can also think of it in three if you want. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. So 
now we can add one simple thing to lock in with the second and fourth click and that'll be one two and three one two and three or one two and three four five and six okay so first let's find the quarter note triplets so I'm going to start by thinking of that and maybe you can just start with the simple pattern and then add that extra eighth note eventually okay Maybe try switching to the symbol. And when you get comfortable with this, you can try to get a little bit more adventurous. Such as me trying to talk and play. Um, the one thing you want to try to make sure you're doing is locking in with the click. If you get too off from the click, just stop and find B1 again and then start over. And also make sure you're staying under the click in volume so that you can hear the click. That's why I'm playing with the brushes. So when you're trying to get a little bit more adventurous with it, um, just try to add one little thing at a time, maybe. And then add a little bit more. practice that at a bunch of different tempos. Let's try a little bit of a faster tempo for a second. So first, find the quarter note triplets. probably ease, be easier to start at a slower tempo but you can go from three into four or six into four so if we're thinking of it in six eight one two three four five six 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 if we double that and make it sixteenth notes instead of eighth notes one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one then that can become triplets if you gr start grouping it in threes one and two and three and four and five and six and one two three four one two three four one two three four so once you understand that 
you can try to go maybe between a 6-8 thing into a shuffle thing and then back. So I'll give you an example of that really quick. Now I'll try to go back into the 6-8 by first thinking of the quarter note triplets. and forth between the two. So 